Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Karua Shapes Transition Finder Plus. This board features Karua's float camber, which is rocker in the nose, traditional camber throughout the rest of the board. This is gonna give you the load, pop, snap, and drive of traditional camber through the vast majority of the board, but you're gonna have that rocker out in the nose, which is gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a blue day that had some gray haze coming through. There was low to moderate winds. We had heavy pow, chop, chunder, perfect corduroy. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. Once again, it's another one of their plus line boards, which means it is stiffer than the regular counterpart. You do have more flex in the nose and right where that rocker meets the camber section, it does stiffen back up to the tail. There's a little bit of torsional flex, nothing mind blowing with it. Now, the thing to note about the stability of this board is when you're on a groomer, this thing is a rocket ship. When you start to get into uneven terrain or just chunder chop, you start to feel all that kinetic energy of pushing through it, coming right up underfoot. It makes for a very lively feel that at the end of the day just fatigues you if you're not prepared for it so keep your knees bent and just be aware that you may end up having to muscle through so that you stay on top of things because this board does get a little wily at times this board does take a little bit more to load up in the camber profile and when you do it rebounds right back into its natural shape so it wants to spring you up into the air this is a deck that really wants to pop off rollers side hits cat track gaps, things like that. Maybe you used a family of fat skier people as a lawn tramp, I don't know. You can pop with this board, like what you put in, you do get more back out of it. And when it comes to hitting jumps with this board, it wants to boost, it wants to pop, it will get you up in the air. This is a deck you do not have to worry about sending it off a lip. When you do come down hard, you will feel it a little bit more because it's not the most damp, but overall, this thing wants to launch small, medium, large, mega booters. It just hauls into them and pops. This is a board that takes some serious effort to butter with. Sure, you've got that rocker in the nose and that makes it a little easier, but you've got to leverage your weight out past the camber zone and really push into it to activate that nose. For the tail, high speed wheelies are kind of your friend. You just want to be hauling ass and just lean back and just put all your weight into it. It's a board that you got to know what you're doing to butter with it. And if you can find some steep terrain with some fresh pow, it's going to be better than doing it on a firm, hard groomer because you're going to throw so much weight into it. Now with jibbing, speed is your friend. You want to go twice as fast because this board is very precise. You want to understand what you're going to do, whether it's a nose press, a tail press, a 50-50, or a board slide. And speaking of board slides, when you get sideways, there's a little bit of a cradle effect going on with this board just due to the camber shape. Otherwise, it pretty much balances on the feature. Frankly, I don't know why you're hitting rails with a board for at this price of this caliber, but if that's your thing, more power to you. Really wouldn't be the first thing I'd do with this board. Can I handle it? Sure. Are you gonna do it all the time? No. Here's the thing about this board. There's a lot of power behind it. Now it engages outside the front foot and you notice right away that it's smooth and fluid, but where it drives is on the inside of that back foot. When you load that up and really push into it, you get a lot of power out of the tail and you're gonna notice as you slowly transition to the outside of your foot that you're actually picking up more speed in the carve. That's just the natural rebound and the energy of this board. This is a board that really wants to just swoop carves, lay it over, pop back up, ollie off of a roller, set it back down on edge, transition to the other side of the run, find another bank to turn on, and then, you know, pop off of a natural hip. This is a board that when you're going slow, it may feel a little wonky to you, but the more speed you have, the more energy and power you can throw into this, the better it actually turns. This is a board that is like, bring your A game and turn with it all day, every day. Who's this board for? The hard, fast, charging, all mountain freestyle rider with an aggressive freestyle flair that borders on throwing carves into it. So I've ridden a bunch of the plus line and this was actually the first one that I rode even though I'm reviewing it right now. This board was a chore to ride. It is too much board for me. I will not deny that. You end up just putting so much energy into it to turn. It's a blast, don't get me wrong, but after a week of this, my knees would probably be blown out and deteriorated. It's aggressive, in case you haven't caught on to that. 
Now, for a rider that wants something this aggressive, yeah, it's probably absolutely amazing. For me, I'm a little more lazy. The regular transition finder is absolutely perfect. I enjoyed it for what it was. Do I recommend this for everyone? No. Do I recommend this for people that really are an aggressive rider? Definitely. Comparable boards. The Jones Ultra Mountain Twin. The Nitro Supra Team. The Rome Ravine Select. Binding recommendations. The Rome Cleaver. The Union Felcor. The Ride C9. This has been my review of the Karua Shapes Transition Finder Plus. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.